Okay, here it is converted. I turned it sideways so I could get more breadth width actually here. And then I rearranged these cups and added a few others. And what I've got is now a simple device that has, well, the belt isn't rigged to the alternator yet, but anyway... That is the structure. I also had some pieces left that I put around the outside to give it support. Because I'm going to use these propane canisters, which I drilled out carefully. And then cut the ends off and then sliced a little 45. So that goes on like so. And... La -di da 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 and I'll film that after. But, that's it for the moment. There it is in a smoke-filled room due to birch burning on a rainy night. And there's my alternator with the lawn more pulley. Wrapped around a bicycle rim with some accoutrements attached with a frame arrangement. But the accoutrements are noteworthy of some attention. My little propane canisters cut. And it's actually a fairly firm structure with these braces. I haven't even attached the other side. These are fairly affixed. But it would be nice if I maybe ran another thing across here to give it extra super support in case I wanted to really nail this like a pelton wheel. In case I wanted to really pelt it. Well, anyway, I better turn it. So... There's the rushing down from right that short distance. Half of it's missing the pipes right there. And I got way down into that little dip to hopefully gain some height. Solar panels charging my bank of batteries. TV set. I'm heading out of the veranda of the Wilt Shear. There's the wheel in the little cart. Now, looking way over into the woods, you can see the pipe. That is a four inch pipe, and if you see on the end, there's water coming out. It's about 55 feet long. I'll show you the details in a minute. Well, there's the little cabin. With a little fire in it. And here is the situation. And that string running across is telephone wire from tree to tree, driven in with screws like taps so it doesn't ruin the cambium. If you go around the tree and it grows, it'll kill it. If you go just one spike, it doesn't. And as you can see, there's my water supply. Let me go up top and show you that. Halfway up the little hill, now you get an idea of how high this is. And here's my meter socket arrangement, which will make sense in a minute. And there. The meter socket arrangement with some leaks, of course, so that all patch for efficiency. But for now, it's my gold collection station. Haha. -ha. And then, as you can see, the funneled idea, thanks to Roy, that was a great idea. So, that's my upper penstock right there, that's the source of all this. 
And already there's some losses underneath, which I can show you from the side. It drips all underneath and such, but anyway, there it is out yonder. Wheels in a minute. Okay, brief update. Get the bucket cover on. Quick detail there. See, I don't know how much this thing's gonna splash. There's the wheel in all its glory. Leaned up against the sapling. And on the wire business, I was able to slide it over, hopefully attach it and miss it, and then put it on. Updates in a minute. Oh, the battery is merely to excite the field. And so my light that I have up in the trees there, when the sun goes down, will run merely off the generator, or off the alternator. Again, updates in a bit. Well, there it is. I consider it a failure. It works. But the alternator is quite a restriction on it. And I would probably need most of the water that's actually coming out of the stream, which if I were to really maybe lock it all in up there. But I need a lot more water and maybe a bigger wheel to really, really crank power. So this is a good, good idea on what we got here. Not failure, but not... <laughs> Not cranking out any power. It's barely turning the alternator. And if I turn the field on to light the light, it stalls. If I disconnect the belt, it goes, though. I'll do that for your viewing pleasure. This one's for you, Roy. I like your idea of the bigger pulley on the alternator. Make it spin faster because it wouldn't be bogged down. I don't know what would happen. I still think it's way too big. But there's a quick little video for you. 15, 16 seconds. Over and out. Here you go, Roy. The belt fell off. I got it going.